Two preteens under arrest in connection with a violent assault on another child in Logansport. Yeah, this is deeply disturbing. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli actually talking with the girl's family today. They tell us she was tortured. She's a little girl. Um, what these juvenile females did to her is unimaginable. Family members of a 12 year old Logan's poor girl say Friday night she went to what she thought would be a sleepover with friends. She was tortured, beaten, um, confined. During that overnight stay, the victim's family says she was held down, cut in her face, and had part of her head shaved. That wasn't all. They burned her with cigarette lighters. Her mother says she's heartbroken and wishes she could have been there to help her daughter. Instead, she tells us she's now pushing for justice for her little girl. They didn't bully her, they tortured her. Logansport police tell us the allegations into what happened go beyond bullying. In fact, there was enough probable cause to arrest two 12 year old girls after they began their investigation Saturday morning. It's very, very significant, very severe. Uh, it's, it's a little bit heart wrenching to watch the videos and to hear what uh, has been alleged at this point. Due to the ages of those believed to be involved and the nature of the allegations, police aren't able to confirm specific details. However, Sergeant Dan Fry says as he approaches 20 years on the job, some of the most difficult calls he's been on involve children as victims. This one in particular goes to the extreme with uh, the alleged uh, suspects being juveniles as well. Those close to the victim showed us video of what they say happened at Friday's sleepover. My niece in the video looked like she was laying there dead. We saw that part of the video, which appeared to show the girl laying down, blood on her face. She's now recovering from her physical injuries. Now she has to you know, go through the rest of her life. You don't have to look over her shoulder or wonder if she can trust this person or that person. Logansport police say they're taking this case seriously, along with other information they continue to receive. Their investigation doesn't stop here. In Logansport, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. The Cass County Prosecutor's Office and Logansport Police say this case remains under investigation.